Alrighty. Well, welcome to another one of Strength in One's lessons. This time we are going to discuss how to deal with certain characters and also how to deal with certain boss fights. Take for example Azdaha. Now Azdaha is considered one of the hardest ones on here. Mostly because he has the highest amount of health in the game, but at the same time he also has the same attack as an Abyss Mage. So, I'm going to pick the level 91, just to see how it's done. Yes, yes, I know. Now, as you can see, I'm going to be using two healers along with two, um, I want to say damage dealers. Eula, Hayaka, Chi Chi, and Barbara. Now, not everybody likes to do this, especially when it comes to the invention of Bennett, but some for me it actually does help does help me out because I use Eula like I'm basically on the suicide watch. What I mean by on the suicide watch I mean by that Eula can die real quickly or die real easily and sometimes it's not a pretty sight. But Barbara can actually save me because she is currently C6. So let us begin. Now, to make it easier on myself, I'm going to give her some food, which is the last Adeptus Temptation that I currently have, but this is going to make the, the match a whole lot easier. You dare overstep your mortal authority? Blood of Frost! Those stacks of Grimheart are going to help me out over time. Why? Because it makes it easier for me to not get interrupted as I continue to hit him. Ah, we came at the same time, cool. Shut up. You're fine, you're fine. Crush. Now as you can see, I know I have twice the healing. That's gonna make me make it a whole lot easier for me just to take the boss on Shut with the character that I'm using right now. Azaha's use of Hydro is a little bit different than others. He's going to summon these weird water droplets that are just going to encircle the entire um, battlefield. But as long as you are not taking any Hydro or eventual Electro damage, you should be okay. Now remember, every party of his body is basically a weapon. His tail, his head, his feet, his ability to step on the ground. Beg for mercy. You can't get too close or too far. That was a little bit too close, wasn't it? Excuse me. <clears throat> Asaha with a use of Electro is going to be. It's going to make it a little more difficult for me to hit him. <clears throat> so if I some, oh. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
using to go into the ground and what you're going to have to do is pay attention to the ground that's surrounding him or his tail. Any portion of the ground that has that doesn't have Electro, you walk on it or you can still attack him from it. Any portion that does, you're going to try your best to keep your distance. One great benefit of Chi Chi is that if I mark him with one of her talismans just by attacking him normally, I'm basically just recovering my health. You notice how I continue to go after him, even though I continue to take damage? It's only because... But you were. So my point is, is that the reason why I continue to go after him is because of how my Yola is set up. Basically, with Yola and her, along with her strikes of Grimheart, make it easier for her, as I said earlier, to not worry about interruption. While then, at the same time, you can still attack as you wish. Both Chi Chi and Barbara also kept me alive during this entire ordeal. Well, even though both Eula and I, I can almost die, that doesn't mean you can't use healers. So, I'm hoping this lesson helps you out, and I also hope that you have a wonderful day, a wonderful evening, or a wonderful afternoon. Again, I don't know what time you're watching this, so, day-day.